Hey guys, this video is a sneak peek into a fun little project that I've been working on called Snake on Steroids, where I'm attempting to build a more complicated version of the traditional snake game, as well as an AI that can master this game and make all my friends who dare to go up against it cry. In this video, I thought I'd share some footage of the gameplay and also talk about the different aspects of the game. But before that, if you're interested in learning about how I actually coded this game, or if you're curious about the AI that I'm building for this game, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell icon to get notified when those videos are out. Or maybe you're watching this video from the future, and in that case, there should be links to those videos in the description. Okay, back to the rules of the game. So just like the traditional game of Snake, food blocks spawn at random locations on the board, and the snake needs to navigate to these food blocks and consume them in order to grow and be rewarded with points. Every time the snake consumes a food block, it receives 10 points. However, unlike the traditional game of Snake, red obstacle blocks continuously spawn onto the board at random locations. If the snake collides with these obstacle blocks, then it's game over. The only way for the snake to get rid of these obstacles is to consume food. In this instance of the game, consuming one block of food removes 10 obstacle blocks from the board. In addition to these red static obstacle blocks, the game also consists of black homing obstacles whose sole purpose is to follow the snake around and kill it by trying to collide with its head. Unsurprisingly, if a homing obstacle manages to collide with the head of the snake, then it's game over. However, if a homing obstacle collides with the body of the snake, then the snake gets decapitated at that point and another homing obstacle spawns. You want to do your best to make sure that this doesn't happen because there's no way to get rid of a homing obstacle. Okay, so those are all of the rules at the moment, but I may add more functionality to the game in the future. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this game and make it even more difficult, then make sure to drop the suggestions down in the comments section below. But for now, enjoy watching me struggle to play this game.